morning, ANC family, and good morning to all of our social media family and friends. I'm Elder Gloria. It is time for our morning devotional. Hey, I need you to share this. Like, heart, feel free to put a comment into the feed. And listen, our scripture for today is going to be Jeremiah 29 and 11. And our topic today is a question. And that question is, how do you see yourself? Just before I read Jeremiah 29, 11, I want to give a little background here. Jeremiah was a prophet that was called to go and speak God's word to uh, Jerusalem. And the Bible tells us that Jeremiah was personally hand select by God to actually do this. And, and the Lord basically said this to him. So whoever I command thee, thy shall speak and be not afraid of thy faces. Then the Lord put forth his hand and Jeremiah said, he touched my mouth. God equipped Jeremiah to go out with this message. So the Lord said, behold, I have put my word in thy mouth. So now Jeremiah is ready to go out and be obedient and give the word of the Lord to the uh, children of God in Jerusalem. Now, basically what happens here is that he calls them to repentance because they're disobedient and they do not heed to the call to repentance. So then the Lord have to punish. And then again, the Lord uses Jeremiah to call the people in Jerusalem to repentance. And again, <laughs> they do not heed. Sounds like some of us, right? So then the Bible goes on to say that the Lord allowed them to be taken into captivity by the Babylonians. So now let's fast forward to chapter 29. Then this is when the Lord gives a promise for his people to return back unto their homeland. So he sends uh, the word by Jeremiah. And what Jeremiah actually does here, he writes a letter because remember the people of God, they're in captivity in Babylon. So Jeremiah from Jerusalem, he writes a letter. He gets it to the people of God that's in captivity. And then this is where, and keep this in mind, God allowed them to be put into captivity because of disobedient and not heeding to the call of repentance, right? First he punished them. And then again, he called them to repentance and they wouldn't listen. So what happened next? Now they're in captivity. So now we fast forward to uh, chapter 29. Let's read verse 10. It says, for thus said the Lord, this is Jeremiah, speaking to the people of God. He says that after 70 years be accomplished at Babylon, I will visit you and perform my good word toward you in causing you to return to this place, meaning return to Jerusalem. Now here is our scripture for today. The 11th verse, for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, saith the Lord, not of evil, to, but of what? Peace. To give you an expected end. And I want to say unto you, there's going to be a time that God will have to punish us for our disobedience. But just like we do our own children, it is not forever. There's going to be a time where God says enough is enough. Now for the people of Jerusalem, unfortunately had to be in captivity for 70 years. But hey, how do we see ourselves? Are we ready to be obedient? Are we ready to come out of a land of punishment that God has allowed us to be in? A land of captivity being captivated by the world because we wouldn't take heed to his word. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a deliverant people? Do you see yourself as people who God is ready to take you out? See, it's up to you when you're ready to be delivered. God is standing at the door and he's knocking. He said, hey, I'm ready. I'm ready to come and sup with you. If you allow the Lord to come, 
He wants to come and sup with his people. So this is what the Lord is saying. It is my desire for I know the thoughts that I think toward you, said the Lord. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. I'm here to tell you there is hope in your latter part of punishment. God is saying, let's come out. Let's reason together. Come on and let me be a blessing unto you. Let me reward you. Let me give you what I want you to have. It is time for us saints to go forth and eat the good of the land. Hallelujah. Yes, we all have been disobedient. Yes, there's time that God had allowed us to be captivated by the world because we wouldn't listen. But hey, y'all, I say now come out from among them and let's be a separate people. Thus said the Lord thy God. God wants to come and be with us. Touch not the unclean things. Hallelujah. So that we can sup with the Lord. How do you see yourself? Do you see yourself as a delivered people? Do you see yourself as a people? It is time for you to reap what God has for you. Let's go and get this expected in. See yourself delivered. See yourself set free. Let's turn from the ways that are not of God. Let's be pleasing unto God. Let's ask God to create in us a clean heart. Renew a right spirit in us so that we can go and get what's rightfully ours. Come on, saints. It is time. It is time for us to go and reap what God has for. He said in his word that we can be the head and not the tail. Can you see yourself as the head? He said we can be above and we don't have to be beneath. We can be the first and not the last. And God is ready to favor us. He's ready to open some doors that he allowed to be shut because we were not obedient. And just like Jeremiah had to go and tell the people, God is ready to deliver you and he's ready to bring you to an expected end. See, there was some false prophets before Jeremiah had the people thinking they was going to come out. But no, not so. God had the right prophet to go in there and prophesy when it was time to come out. So I'm here to speak to us today to say, if we would obey the word of the Lord, we can come out. We can come out. Y'all, it's some good stuff that we got that we are missing out because we won't turn from the things of the world and turn to Jesus. So today I say unto you, how do you see yourself? Do we see ourselves as winners? Do we see ourselves as the children of God who wants to be, God wants to bless us now and take us out of captivity? Let's turn from the way of the world and let's be pleasing unto God so that we can see ourselves as the blessed children of the Lord who are now prosperous and reaping the rewards of God. How do you see yourself? Again, this has been Elder Gloria. I hope this has been a blessing. Remember to share, like, and heart. And hey, I'm looking for your comments. See you next time.